Okay guys, so the first thing you guys are going to need to do with any assignment is always create a title block. And here is the sheet showing you how to do so, and then I'm going to demonstrate the actual title block procedure so you guys will know how. So the first thing I want to do, pay attention to this, is I want to be able to go half an inch, half an inch, half an inch, and half an inch from the edge of the paper. So we're going to do that. So we need to first line up our sheet. So I got my T square here. And I want to make sure that it is lined up there. Okay. And then I got a piece of paper. Oh, again, make sure my T square stays lined up. I'm always checking all the time to make sure it's lined. And I basically take my paper and I give it a little curl, like so, and make sure my T is lined still, hasn't changed anything. I then put the edge of it across there, and then I can pin down my paper. Now, I will have also have had some tape already ready to go for this, and I usually only need about an inch, inch and a half of tape, so only really about that much tape is needed and I secure all the sides, all the corners. Making sure not to move my paper when I do so. There you go. Now it's really important that I make sure my board is clean and I start with a clean board. And once I got my paper secure down there, I'm going to grab my 6H pencil. Let's see if we can focus in there. There it is. That's how I remember, 6H pencil. Okay, and I'm going to do all my beginning drawing with that 6H pencil. So, I need to, of course, do half an inch from all sides, is what I said. So I'm going to use my scale. Remembering with the scale, we always want to use, at least for the beginning of this class, the 16 sided scale, because that breaks the inch into 16 equal parts. And it has, it actually has a standard ruler here, 12 inches to foot. So again, verifying that my paper is square, verifying that my T is square. I'm going to take my scale, and I'm just going to take a mark and make it at half an inch using a 6H pencil. Remember, the 6H pencil are the marks that we don't want to show up. Now, you guys are going to make these marks really, really, really light. So light that you almost can't see them. I'm going to make them a little darker so that you guys in this video can see what I'm doing here. So I'm making a mark there. Okay, this side half an inch, mark. Okay, now I could do a couple different things. I could use my triangle, mark it up here, and mark half an inch. Or I could also use my T and just put it on the top here. That's a perfectly good way to use it too as long as you put it square on the board. You're fine to do that and I can measure half an inch. Now you want to always use your scale to do your measuring. You don't want to use your T for your measuring even if, the, even if there are marks on there okay? because we haven't set it up correctly, our paper. Uh, and you always want to use your T for drawing. Don't ever draw, don't ever try and do a straight edge with your scale. These things get bumps in them, nicks, like that. They won't do very straight lines. That's what your T's are for. So now that I have that in here, I can come in and try and keep my head out of the way. I can make lines for my border. Again, I'm doing a little darker than I want you guys to do. Pardon me, I'll try and stay out of the way. So you can see what I'm doing. Okay. Coming in here. A little darker. And I want you guys to do one more time. You guys will be doing it. Barely even see it. It's lines so light you can't even see them. It's going to be awesome. A Seinfeld reference, and you guys know Seinfeld. All right, so 
about the outside edge of my, my border. Then according to my sheet of paper, I need to come up another half an inch to make this line and a half an inch from the top to make that line. Same procedure as four. No surprises here. Marks it half an inch. If you can't see it, trust me, they're there. Marks it half an inch. Again, I'm not worried about if I go over in this case, because I am doing the lines so light, there'll be no problem in erasing them later. There we go, we got the start of our border there. Lovely, lovely, lovely stuff. All right, so next, I need to put these lines in. Okay, so at three and a half, three and a half, three and a half, and a half. All I'm doing is taking my scale, and I am measuring three and a half, putting a mark. Still using my 6H pencil, of course. Three and a half plus three and a half is seven. Seven plus three and a half is ten and a half. That should leave half an inch there. And in this case, I'll just use my triangle because it's easy. Like so. Okay, border starting to come together. Now, I want to go in next and I want to go in and put where my letters are going to fit. So the way that works is I have these guidelines in here, okay, and they're helping me get my letters center in between the title block, okay. So they're a quarter of an inch, meaning there's going to be an eighth of an inch here and an eighth of an inch here. So I'm basically going to take my scale I'm then going to measure eighth on the top, eighth on the bottom, that should give me a quarter inch. Exact same thing happens with the top And the an eighth. Okay. Got my scale here. And these are light lines again. I am going to do is really light. Okay. These are my guidelines. These, you won't necessarily erase at the end, but you want to keep them super light because you don't want that to be what people see. Hopefully that is in focus so you guys can see what I'm doing there. Okay. So, then comes the fun part. Oh, I'm going to do one more thing here. I'm going to measure a quarter inch from this side, still using my 6H pencil. Quarter inch and a quarter inch from each side there. And that's just a very light mark. And a quarter inch. Okay, so use the old trusty triangle. And I'm just putting the mark. This is to know where to start and stop my guys. Okay, and now I can switch back to my H pencil. Okay, this guy, remember, this is our, our lines that are staying, our object lines, our lettering, our border lines, lines we want to show up. 6H lines we don't want to show up, H lines we do. Kind of think of it as a permanent 
pin. And I need to start my lettering, okay? So a couple little notes about lettering. One is we are going to use this style of lettering on the back of your title block sheet, lettering one. This is what we're going to practice. And every, every single assignment you do, you'll put your title block on there, and then you'll do some lettering. This assignment being a lettering, your first assignment being a lettering assignment, you're going to do a little bit more lettering. We'll get to that later. So I want to practice in this sense. And I, a couple things I look at. One, letters should be nearly as wide as they are tall. <clears throat> now, of course, an I is not as wide as it is tall. But the rest of your letters, like your M's, your O's, your S's, your T's, should be as wide as they are tall. And then spaces should be about the width of an N. Your space is about the width of an N. Okay? So you want to do this style. Now, there's a couple different things. You come in here and you know there are, for instance, two N's, two M's, uh, and so forth. You don't need to do both of them because there's not two M's or two N's in the alphabet. You pick the one, the style that you like better. All right? So, <clears throat> H pencil. I'm coming in here and I'm going to start right on this corner where I made that mark and I'm going to do my A. Just like so. Okay? Then I'm coming in and I'm using my T in this, or my square in this place, and I'm going to put my, in this place, and I'm going to put my letter B in there. Anytime I use a vertical, I have a vertical in my letter, I always use a straight edge. B, C, D has a, a vertical, so I use a straight edge. D. Comes that M. I like that style M. N. I like that style N. And if you're not good at this right away, no problems. You guys will get plenty good at it. This is the only way I could write now. I don't use a straight edge anymore, obviously. When I'm just writing freehand, but you write all caps all the time. I believe there's a couple different ways you can do W's. Perfect. There you go, there's my alphabet. And not perfect, but good enough. Okay, then I'm going to come over here back to this line that I made. I'm going to start with the vertical. Okay, and this is going to be my 9. And I'm going to count backwards. Like so. And then I'm going to come down here and I'm going to do my name. Spacing is about the letter M or N. Title, 
first assignment you guys are going to work on is going to be called lettering. You would put whatever assignment you are working on in this. Date. I don't know why I think E's and F's are the most fun, the most stylistic. I don't even know what the date is today. Let's see here. Maybe the ninth. And your first assignment will be assignment number one. There you go. Looking pretty good as far as your title block goes. Okay, a couple more things we have to do to finish it off. One is we need to now darken these lines and then we need to get rid of any extra of the ghost lines, the hidden lines, and so forth. So couple things. Typically I just use this eraser, but I usually wouldn't use this eraser. I usually come in for this eraser if I need to do any marks. And it's okay to erase things. But, I want to use my H pencil. Okay? And I want to come in, and this time I do want to pay attention to if I'm going over and so forth. Now, your H pencil has a tendency to smear. So what I do is I like to use these eraser bags. This is kind of a little tip. You guys can use them if you like. You don't have to though. And I take them and I just either I can do this and just kind of throw them down. And it leaves us, you probably can't see it, but it leaves this little fine powder. You can also go like this and do it. But I just throw it down, leaves this little fine powder of eraser pieces on there. And I just leave them there. I don't do anything. And, I, and, and while I draw, now when I move my hand or my paper, move things over there, it helps prevent my paper from smearing. You get too many smudge marks, it looks sloppy and you're going to lose points. You're not going to, it's not going to look as good as it could. So H pencil coming in and I'm retracing my lines, my guidelines. And this time I am being precise. I am stopping at the right points and starting at the right points. Another thing I do, watch what I do, I do this. I actually go ahead, grab my pencil about an inch and a half up and I turn my pencil as I draw. Now the nice thing about using going extra long on the first time, the 6H pencil, now I know where to stop, otherwise I would have had to guess where to stop for that line. And the reason I turn that pencil is because I want it to give a nice even line. And that turning it allows you to do that, otherwise it builds a flat surface and starts to get thicker and thicker your lines as you draw on. So you can tell your pencil wasn't sharp. Coming in here again, twisting, going to do all my horizontals these are supposed to be dark lines Now notice I didn't do these lines, these guidelines, because those are guidelines. I don't want them to show up. Again, you'll do them super light. After a while, your H pencil starts to get dull. Now, if the wood part is dull, you can go ahead and take it to the pencil sharpener, and please do. But if it's just the lead that just needs a little refreshing, you can use these things called uh, lead pointers. And typically, I would not put this over my drawing because you can get messy. They have little lead shavings in there and so forth. But to show you guys what I'm doing, you just put it in here. And you just give it a couple turns and then a blow. And that actually sharpens your lead quite well. And you use that a couple times before you're going to have to go ahead and take it back to the pencil sharper and actually give it a real sharpening. So now we can come in here and we can do our verticals.
stop in the right places. Might not turn so much when you're doing these little short ones. And there you go. Okay, almost done. Last thing we need to do is erase our tails that we made with our 6H pencil earlier. So I'm gonna use something I like to call the erasing shield. Erasing shield, so I don't like to call it every call it the erasing shield. Looks like that, just a thin piece of metal. And I use my eraser. And what I can do now is I can put the erasing shield over the lines I wanna keep. Use my eraser, and I can now erase those marks. And this, if I did it lightly enough and I used the right pencil, it should come right up. These are the tails that need to go away. If you do end up erasing a little bit of your line, you can later go back over and trace it. Darken it back up again if you get a little bit of it. Almost got it all. And you finish that up like that and give it a quick brush. And there is your title block, ready to go, ready to do every assignment you need to do. Uh, one last thing is with a title block, I typically don't come back in with the H pencil, you know, I'll do my text, all that stuff, but I don't do that until I've finished my drawing side. H pencil is the last thing I do. All right, guys, enjoy.